No, uh, we already saw two reasons uh, as to why we get that cannot connect to SharePoint site error. Uh, but there is one third reason. So in here, in this uh, environment, I have uh, one driver business, uh, which is synchronizing Uh, my default documents library from my personal site and it's synchronizing a library from a team site. So right now the we know that our machine uh, has uh, we are allowed to synchronize libraries you know to this environment. We don't have any errors on the on any registry keys that uh, as before as we saw before. So now what I'm going to do with this user, I'm going to try to synchronize one a library that was shared with him. So I go here. So this is a normal library that was shared with my user, which is user 001. And it is on a team site, team site 04. And my user only has access to this documents library. So the library was shared with me and I will, I'm going to click sync. And we get the error again. Now, as we saw before, since I'm already synchronizing libraries to my machine, the error must be because of some setting specific for this site or this library, not because of something that I have on my machine. So I will click OK, cancel. And now, since my user only has permissions to, to see the library, I'm going to log in on a new browser with the user that shared the library with uh, these other users. So I'm going to log in with my admin user. I'm going to navigate to that site. So let's see, that was team site 04. So here I am on team site 04. This was the documents library that I shared with the other user, user 001. And now one uh, other setting that we can, besides the permissions that we give the user, one other setting that can cause this issue of cannot connect to specified SharePoint site is for is one feature that if that feature is enabled, users with um, more restricted permissions will not be able to uh, synchronize the libraries. And let's see, let's go to site collection features. And now if we look into it, there it is. Limited access user permissions lockdown mode. So if this permission is active, uh, if this feature is active, users with more restricted permissions on the, on the, on the site, on the libraries, will not be able to synchronize the libraries to their machines. So let's deactivate this feature. Let's look into it. Now it's deactivated. We can log out with our user. To make sure, let's navigate to the library again. Let's see if the change was already replicated.
and there it is we are already able to synchronize the documents library from that was shared with us after deactivating that feature an issue that most um, uh, site administrators don't realize but um, this issue is, is uh, easily solved so let's click sync now and there we have it on our SharePoint folder we have the folder for the new library that we are synchronizing okay so this was for some of the most common issues um, one other, other thing that uh, uh, usually uh, solves most of the problems is uh, the clearing up of the cache of the OneDrive for Business application now we can uh, clear up the cache manually or we can use the tool that we have at our disposable disposal. So in this KB article, let's let's navigate to it. So in this KB article, we have an easy fix tool that allow us to, um, to clear up uh, pretty easily the OneDrive for Business cache. So that's what we are going to do. Now, before using this tool, we should uh, make sure that any documents that we have uh, here um, that we may have open are closed. Uh, make sure there are no pending synchronization errors. Uh, because uh, we will be cleaning up the cache and we want uh, not to disrupt any any documents we, it's preferable if everything is closed before we run this tool so let's run it let's click download okay Clean OneDrive for Business Cache is this is easy fix tool. So let's click next. Now we could back up our cache, but uh, at the moment we are go simply going to 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 clear up the cache to to allow a clear synchronization this is for uh, this is one of the most common issues is that synchronization uh, for some reason the get the cache gets corrupted and this uh, and we get some synchronization issues so let's clear up so this tool will remove the OneDrive for Business cache. Please ensure that all Office apps and Windows Explorer windows are closed to avoid unexpected results. Once all Office apps and Windows Explorer windows are closed, please select yes and next to continue. So right now we don't have any Windows Explorer open and we don't have any documents open. So let's select yes and click next. Okay, it, it cleared up the cache successfully, so let's click close. And right now we can close this as well. And right now, if we see here, the OneDrive for Business is no longer running. If we go to the task manager, we don't see any uh, OneDrive for Business icon. Okay, so let's look into the folders. If we now navigate to the location of the folders, we see 
that the folders are now regular folders no longer being synchronized so now after we cleared up the cache we need to synchronize everything again this is one thing that always needs to be done when we clear up the cache we need to synchronize the folders again so right now by default since i was not synchronizing my personal site it will ask me to synchronize my personal site i will click sync now and it should create a new folder and there it is the new folder so i can delete this old folder and uh, the sharepoint ones i'll need to go to the site and synchronize them again. Let's just delete these ones. And there we have it, the, our team site 04. Now I, uh, I should go to my team site 05, which was another library that I was synchronizing and click sync again. But here we have it after running the tool. As I told you, uh, this, the tool will stop the synchronization. So we will need to synchronize everything again. But by running the tool, you will be able to clear up the cache completely and this usually solves most of the issues on uh, with OneDrive for Business synchronization. And that's it.